It was a cold December in Germany, and it was only one week left before Christmas Day. This is a story of Jay and Stefan's Christmas in a tiny house in a tiny village in a magical land called Bavaria. The fall this year was deceivingly warm. It was already November, but with the warmth in the air, it felt more like a cool summer day. We made it out of the house, went to the gym. Now we're going to the city because we're doing something that every German does on a sunny day. It was sunnier earlier, now there's a few clouds. So in light of sun, I'm gonna go through some German idioms while Stefan is driving and educate myself. Sonne tanken, yeah. to soak up the sun. Next one is Sonne im Herzen haben. I have sun in my heart. Wonderful, yes. Then we have Alfregen folgt Sonnenschein. After the rain comes a sunshine. Yes. Geh mir aus der Sonne. Get out of my sunlight. Yeah. Das ist Sonne klar. This is very that, clear. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Auf der Sonne Seite des Lebens stehen. Stand in the sunny side of life. Don't be a negative Nancy. Don't be a Debbie Downer. Don't, yes. <laughs> don't be a don't be a Debbie, okay? Don't be a Debbie. Every German was already prepared for winter. They wore jackets, scarves, winter shoes. Because that was a sensible thing to do. Everyone is in their winter jackets, <laughs> scarves, and sweaters. And here I am in my summer shirt and my shorts. They probably think I'm crazy. I think they're crazy. But at the end of the day, we're all crazy. We are crazy, yeah. They sat outdoors at their favorite restaurant as if it was a hot summer day. They had sparkling water, wine, more wine, and they had spaghetti pomodoro. They laughed, they talked, they were joyous, but little did they know that this would be their last day of feeling the sun on their bare arms. That's the castle of Lansut, and we're basically underneath the castle right now. We did one of the most important things that a German can do. Buying bread. Buying bread. We have a baguette, but we didn't get what we should have actually bought. A pretzen. I feel like I'm in like in Rome or something. That's the cool thing about walking. You always explore different things. Now we're gonna go buy some wine for the evening. They invited their friends over for dinner. They all ate good food, drank wine and beer. The conversations flowed smoothly like a good old Augustina beer. They laughed and laughed as they played pantomime. That night, everything changed. The snow came at night. Once the beautiful green trees were now white and cold, the nearby forest was covered in snow.
December came quickly, and soon it was only one week left for Christmas. And along with that came more snow. On a Sunday before Christmas, they spent an entire day with their friends, walking in the snowy fields. They walked by the river. They walked to the edge. They saw ducks. They saw geese. They walked. They talked. They were all merry as can be. The next morning, they found the most perfect Christmas tree in the nearby tree farm. The tree farm was sweet, cozy, and full of snow-capped trees. They even had a teepee where they had a burning bonfire to keep warm, where the children gathered to listen to Christmas stories, while the adults picked out the tree. We are at our favorite place where we like to buy a Christmas tree every year and I had never known that they actually have a section where you can chop your own tree. So this is a, a Christmas tree farm and look at how beautiful this is. That's where we came from. That's where the, uh, where you can pick a tree that's already cut. And here is where you can come and you can chop your own tree. And I've never seen anything like this. It's so beautiful, especially because it snowed so much the last two days. Everything is capped with snow. Absolutely gorgeous. Now that they had picked out the perfect tree, it was time to warm up with glue wine with the good shine they received as a thank you for purchasing the tree. Soon it was time to decorate the tree. Music played, ornaments which they had collected over the years came out from the basement. Everything glistens and everything's bright. Everyone's happy, spirits are light. I am sitting here thinking alone with my drink as I do this time of the year. There was the Eiffel Tower they had bought in Paris, the glass icicles from Vancouver, the reindeers from Nuremberg, the snowman as a gift from their dear friend Sabine, the Tiffany glass tree from their friend Philip, the crazy chicken from Jay's mom, and the unicorn from Stefan's mom, the red reindeer from Weimar, and the birdhouse from New York City, the mouse from San Francisco, and the little gnome Santa from a Christmas market in the forest, and under the tree was a village resting along with a flock of birds. It 
was a cool, crisp morning. Calm and stillness was in the air. They started the morning with a traditional Bavarian breakfast, Weisswurst und Brezen. We've had such a beautiful day so far. It's been very relaxing. We had Weisswurst, Frühstück. So we're combining the two traditions as we always do in everything. So now we're gonna start prepping for dinner. No one is coming, it's just the two of us. So it's going to be dinner for two. So we're gonna make turkey, which we bought at Aldi. I had no idea they sell turkey, but maybe this is the first year. So we have a turkey, gravy, mashed potatoes, corn on the cob, stuffing, um, side vegetables, sweet potatoes. So the whole shebang for only two of us. Why not? It's Christmas. We woke up today and we never buy the newspaper, but we bought the newspaper and to our surprise, our tree made it into the local newspaper here. They prepped the turkey, cut the corn, made homemade stuffing with fresh cut celery. The sweet smell of parsnips filled the air as Jay peeled them. Then came the yams, because you can't have a complete dinner without candied yams. As the dinner was being prepped, they toasted to this beautiful day with a glass of champagne. Finally, it was time to eat. The smell of roasted turkey, sweet smell of candied yams, the gravy, mashed potatoes, and corn. The stuffing was earthy and buttery. After dinner, they relaxed and cozied into the night. They say home is where the heart is, and this is where our heart is.